Hello everyone, welcome to our next topic. In this topic, we'll see how to do entry for TDS on professional fees in Doho books. So under that, we will cover what is 94J, type of payment covered, what is the meaning of provisional service, threshold limit of deducting tax, time of TDS deduction, rate of TDS, and time limit for deposit of TDS. So first, what is the section 94J means it is an income tax section which address that uh, for the technical service and professional fees for deduction TDS. Before sending the money to the receiver, the payer must deduct certain amount for tax. Okay. What I hope you have understand what is the section 94J. Now, next type of payment covered under the section 194J is the professional fees, fees for technical service, renovation paid, example sitting fees, or attend a board, board meeting, royalty fees, payment like a non-component fees like a fee paid do not carry or any business or professional for a specified time, or fees paid to not paid to not share any technical knowledge or know how. Okay means this is this type of payment covered in 1940J section. What is the meaning of professional service and technical service? So professional service under section 94J means legal service. If you provide some legal service to anyone, medical service, engineering service, architectural service, accountant or technical consultant service like a CA provide, CA provide to the others, interior decorator service, advertisement service, or notified professionals like a sports, sports person, umpire, referee, etc. Et this type of this of this type of service is called a professional service. And technical service is margin any condition for rendering of any marginal or technical or consultant service like a, including for the technical person technical service. Okay, and but does not include consideration for any construction, assembly, or mining like a project which is taken for by the recipient or consideration which would be income of the recipient. It will be charged under the head of salaries. Miss, you have any con any consideration? Be giving a consideration is uh, in a technical service will become marginal technical or consultant service consultancy service for the technical purpose. Threshold limit for deducting tax. So there's a threshold limit for deducting a TDS on the payment. Only if the payment, if you payment technical or professional service is ever 30,000 in a financial year, then you have to deduct TDS on that. Okay, means threshold limit for financial year for whole year is 30,000. If, if that cross the 30,000, means 30,001 rupees also, then we have to deduct DDS on that. There's a note also that 30,000 threshold limit apply to each payment or item independently. Means every payment and items independently, it is threshold limit is applicable. And there's no such limit for the payment of remuneration, fees or commission, tax, will be deduct even amount is below than 30,000. Means you have a payment, any remuneration or fees, professional fees or commission, then you have to deduct, deduct TDS on that. If it is still below the 30,000, uh, after that, even that you have to be deduct TDS on that. So I hope you have understand the threshold limit of deducting tax. The threshold limit 30,000 for technical or professional service for financial year. But threshold limit will be applied each payment or item independently. And third one, if you are paying payment remuneration for fees or commission, then there is no threshold limit. You have to be deduct TDS even the even the amount is below thirty thousand. And when you have to deduct TDS TDS deduction at the time of payment or pass the entry in accounting book, whichever is earlier, you have to deduct TDS on that time. 
So rate of TDS for technical service is the 2%. Operator for a call center also 2%. The sales distributor for cinematography films 2%. If you pay like for, for professional fees, then 10%. Without PAN, then 20% for all the type of service. If you have not a PAN card, PAN number or PAN, if you do not have a PAN card, then 20%. TDS will be deducted from that. If you have a PAN card, then this tax, then this rate of tax deduction will be applicable. If you have not a PAN card, you do not have a PAN card, then you have to pay, you have to deduct 20% TDS on that. The limit for deposit TDS, if the amount paid or credit in the month of March, so then you have to Pay before 30th April. Okay. But if the amount is paid or credited in the other than March, means April, May, June, July, then within the seven day from the end of the month, which the deduction is made. Means if you have deducted TDS on April, then within a seven May, you have to deposit the TDS to the government. And if you are deducting TDS on March month, then you can deposit TDS before 30th April. Okay, I hope you have understand what is 194J. 194J is a quick recap. 194J is a addressing for the professional and technical service. You have to deduct tax. Receiver will be deducted, uh, sorry, payer will be deduct TDS and um, certain amount of tax and deposit under the section 1944J to the government. What type of payment covered in 194J is professional fees, fees for technical service, remunerations, means sitting fees for board meeting, royalty, or any professional uh, no, business and professional fees, technical knowledge, any technical knowledge fees we have to deduct under 194J. The tax will be deducted under section 194J. Professional service means legal service. Medical service, uh, accounting service, interior decorator service is, is like a professional fees and technical ser service which we marginal or technical or any technical consulting we are taking, then it will become under technical service. What threshold limit? For professional and um, technical service, threshold limit is 30,000 for financial year. But if you are paying for remuneration fees or commission, that there is no threshold limit, even that you have to deduct TDS, even that amount is below rupees 30,000. Okay. And time of deduction TDS. So when you pass entry in accounting, at that time you can deduct the TDS or actual payment of that time you can deduct a TDS, whichever is earlier. If you're doing the payment first, then you have to deduct TDS at the time of payment. If you're passing the accounting first, then you have to pass deduct the TDS on that time also. That time. Rate of TDS, if you're paid for technical service, then 2%. Technical service operating for call center or sales distribution or exhibition, then 2%. For professional service, it is 10%. If you have not a PAN card, if pay has do not have a PAN card, then 20% for technical service, call center, distributor, or professional service. Whatever the service you are taking, if the pay has do not pay do not have a PAN card, then it will be a 20%. And the limit of for deposit of TDS to the government, if you're deducting in the March month, then you have to deposit TDS to the government before 30th April. If you're deducting other than March month, means April, May, June, then you have to submit the uh, TDS amount within a seven days of the next month. Means if you are deducting for the April month, then you have to deposit the TDS within a seventh May. I hope you have understand these things. Now move into the ZOA and see how to enter the TDS on professional fees. So this is our ZOA books. Click on the purchase, bills, new now i am showing one invoice to you this is a invoice company name
company name this is our invoice and company name if it is not create the company Vendor email ID, mobile number, GST, it is a registered, regular, GSTN number. Once you enter the GSTN number, it automatic, everything will be come. Then, select the TDS. It is professional fee. So you have to select professional fee, 10%. Then you have to want to upload the file. You can attach file. If, uh, uh, sorry, it's not save. Again, we can create the, again, we will create company name. The GST number means GST number. Select tax. Professional fees ten percent. Load file. Now click on save. Once you see, everything will come. Bill number, as you can see, bill number means invoice number of purchase, date, Jan. For professional piece, Sackford. Select the professional piece, enter the professional piece at code. Okay. 
reserve purchase not sale amount select cost of uh, Consulting expense rate of GST is eighteen percent. Then click on save. Now you can see professional fee comes under a consultant expense. Similar TDS. If you want to select customer detail, you can select or you can leave it. Now. As you can see, the seven subtotal seven thousand five hundred. In that, that is our CGST and SGST total tax amount thirteen thousand five hundred plus CGST and SGST professional tax seven thousand five hundred total eight thousand one hundred. We have to pay now. You can check that eight thousand one hundred. We have to pay now. Click on save as open. If you want to record payment, you can click on record payment. Enter the amount, select the date when you have paid. And then click on see. Now you can see the status. You can see the payment. It is made or not? You can see the status. Click on the payment made. Now you can see the status. It is paid. Or you want to see status? You can see the mode and status in bills. You can see the status paid. Whichever is open overdue, it is everything will be. You can see on the status. So I hope you have understand. What is nineteen four J? Why type of payment covered under nineteen four J? What is the meaning of professional tax? Threshold limit of deducting tax, time of TDS deduction, rate of TDS, time limit for deposit of TDS, and how to increase TDS on professional fees in Zoho. Oops. So, do you have any question or any doubt regarding that? You can. Simply email us info at the red skill anything dot com or contact in this number. Thank you so much for watching the video.